it's Dharma Talk Tuesday with guest host. I'm Summer Peterson. It's not Julie Surratt. It's not the magical, whimsical, amazing, gorgeous Julie Surratt today. It's me, Summer Peterson. I am Julie Surratt's um, magical friend and colleague, and she is my coach, my business coach. I am her nutrition weight loss coach and nutrition coach, I should say. And I am so excited to be the guest host to serve her amazing community. Thanks for watching live, Jenny. Um, so why am I here doing Dharma Talk Tuesday? Hi, Rosa. I'm so excited to have you on live. If you are interested in learning about all things weight loss, I specialize in speeding up your metabolism and burning off fat. Then stay on, and we are gonna get deep into that. I am a weight loss expert. I am an international best-selling author of a book called The Sexy Diet. Sexy is an acronym for my four-part weight loss system, and I will reveal all of the details um, in a little bit. But I also want to talk a little bit about energy, because this is really where Julie and I have a massive connection, which is why I've hired her as my business coach, um, because she talks so much about aligning your chakras, aligning your energy to abundance and wealth or whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest. So we get into our vision first and align our energies and we create the results that we want. And this is why you probably all are big Julie Surratt fangirls like I am. And um, we, Julie and I are really connected in this way because we really have strong beliefs in areas of manifestation and vibration. And one of the things I wanted to talk about was the vibration of the food we are eating. So one of the, so I'm a weight loss coach. I'm a fasting coach. And one of the, the, t the things that I rage against is that breakfast is the most important meal of the day because it is not the most important meal of the day. We've all had that stuffed down our throats for years and years. And breakfast isn't the most important meal of the day. But you know what? Neither is lunch and neither is dinner. Do you want to know what the most important meal of the day is? The most important meal of the day is the one that you are eating right now. Because if you are eating your organic salad with the side of shame or a side of guilt, then it's not going to be healthy for you. It's not all about the macronutrients and the micronutrients and the fat content and the protein grams and all of those crazy things, low carb, high carb. It's not always just about that. We get to shift our energy and our vibration with the food we are eating. So I always want you to remember that the most important meal of the day is the one right in front of you, the next one that you're going to eat and bless it. Let it love you up and nourish you. And it's soul food. I am the founder of a company called Body Soul Shine. So we enter through the body to really create the freedom, joy, and love that we want in our soul, which is really why Julie and I connect so well and why she asked me to come on. Hey, Jody. Hey, Jenny, which is why I want she wanted me to come on. So hearts and likes if you want me to start to get into how to speed up your metabolism and burn off body fat. So I'm going to get into that really shortly here. But I also just want to talk about a little bit about my story. And um, so my story is I'm a 42, almost a 43-year-old mom of two boys. And before I ever had children, I, I grew up with a relatively thin body. Um, and it was around my 30th birthday that I put on an excess 30 pounds. And um, that was really hard on me because um, I had never had to diet ever, never even thought about it. And um, my, it was really interesting. My mother had always told me that when she turned 30, her metabolism slowed down and she put on about 30 pounds and was never able to lose the weight. And at the time when I turned 30, I remembered the words that my mom had said. My mother had already passed away at this point, but I remember her telling me that. And it was true. She had put on excess weight and never had lost it. And I was terrified. It was like, oh gosh, I have this genetic inheritance to put on weight and now I'm going to be in an overweight body for the rest of my life. And I was, I raged against that. 
So I exercised like a maniac. I was going to spin class twice a week. I had a private Pilates instructor. I had I owned an elliptical machine and I would jump on that before dinner um, because apparently it was supposed to rev up my metabolism if I did my elliptical machine before dinner. And um, I was eating a big breakfast every morning because back then they were telling us that breakfast was the most important meal of the day. We're supposed to eat a lot of big breakfast. And I, no matter what I did, no matter how, when I walked my dog twice a day, no matter how much exercise I did, I could not lose the weight. And I was unable to lose the weight for my wedding day. I bought this gorgeous Vera Wang wedding gown and I didn't feel very pretty in it. The gown was gorgeous, but it was not the size that I wanted. And I was really disappointed. And, um, and long story short, I, um, I came across the secret to weight loss after giving birth to my first son. So it was really kind of funny. I put on 50 pounds when I was pregnant with him. So I not only had that 50 pounds to lose, well, he was eight, eight and a half pounds. So he was only eight, he was about eight and a half pounds of that, but 50 pounds plus the 30 excess pounds. But I lost it all before I got pregnant with my second son and it came off so quickly and easily. And this is what's so profound is that you can lose weight at any age, no matter how many babies you've had, no matter how long that you have had held this extra weight. And yes, it takes intention. And yes, it takes getting used to getting used to a new vibration. What was interesting about my vibration is I kept feeling like I was a thin woman trapped in an overweight body. And I really feel like having those tinges of like, I am a thin woman, you know, and then I look at my body and be like, this isn't right. So just having that feeling, that vision, that knowing that I am a thin woman, I think really helped me. And so getting lined up in the ways that Julie talks about using yoga to align your, your chakras and then to do your, your creative visualizations. If, uh, if you're following Julie for a long time, you know, she really talks about these concepts. It's really important to, um, she's right on, she's really nailed it down that this is the, the way to do it. So yes, I lost my weight and then um, I got back to my high school body weight after, after my first was um, about 18 months old. And then I got pregnant again, um, or he, my, my first was two years old, excuse me. And then I got pregnant again, but, and, and my, um, my youngest is five and he's going to kindergarten tomorrow. And I have been in my ideal body weight since, you know, about a year after he, um, you know, it takes a while for the baby weight to come off, but I was, I've been living my ideal body weight and I feel amazing as a woman who's about to turn 43 and has two little boys. And I was inspired to write a book to share this with the world because I don't want any other woman to feel like an overweight woman stuck, a thin woman, excuse me, stuck in an overweight body because you can lose the weight at any age. And I am going to tell you how. So like I said, I have a book called The Sexy Diet. Um, it is an international best-selling book. I'm actually going to be, and if you live in the San Luis, San Luis Obispo County hearts and likes, if you live there, I'm going to be on the news next week. Um, uh, Fox 11 news. So catch me there. And, um, otherwise I'll be putting the replay on my, um, my website and in my private Facebook groups. And, um, so we'll give you access to that as well. Um, but I'm going to be talking about how to lose weight on that TV show. And I'll tell you all here first, if you're not in San Luis Obispo County. So sexy is an acronym for my four part weight loss system. And S is how we raise our metabolism. So, you know, I said weight loss is really, a, it, there's two stages. It's raising your metabolism again and then burning off the fat. So we think of our metabolism, like for me, I thought my metabolism had slowed down because of my genetic inheritance, because I had turned 30 and that happened to my mom. But the truth is food is what slows down our metabolism. When the doctors do the clinical tests on you, unless you have a thyroid condition, thyroid disease, your metabolism isn't necessarily slow or fast, nor does it really necessarily get slow or fast with age. It's really the food we eat will either speed up your metabolism or slow it down. So hearts and likes, if you want to find out which foods slow down your metabolism, this is the S in sexy. Ready for it? Sugar and flour are what slow down your metabolism. These foods literally slow you down. So this is what I want you to associate in your mind. Let's make the connections. 
Sugar, eating sugar and flour are like spraying miracle Grow on your fat cells. Do you want to spray miracle Grow on your fat cells? Heck no, you don't want to spray miracle Grow on your fat cells. Nobody does. Even if you're super thin, you don't want to grow your fat cells. You want to grow your muscle to put on weight. So do not eat sugar and flour if you want to shrink down your fat cells. Once you stop eating sugar and flour, here's your metabolism when you're eating pasta and crackers and ice cream and milkshakes, which is what I was eating all the time. I was eating tons of chips and salsa, wheat thins, pasta, milkshakes, <laughs> all of those things when I was overweight. Once I stopped eating those, my metabolism got high again. Excuse me. Back to my high school weight. And or actually back to my high school levels. And then that, so that's how you, you raise your metabolism. The E in sexy is just eat your vegetables. Your doctor told you to eat your vegetables. Your mama told you to eat your vegetables. And now the internet's telling you to eat your vegetables. And the truth is we get to replace the chips with vegetables. So like I love chips and salsa and chips and guacamole. I now eat those with veggies. I love jicama bell pepper, all sorts of really fun things. You can still, um, I can, I pour salt. I, today I poured salsa over um, steamed vegetables. I had leftover steamed vegetables from last night. I didn't even heat them up. I just threw some salsa on them and it tastes delicious. And, um, and I had eggs with that today. Totally keeping my metabolism super high up there. And, um, and it was amazing. It tastes really good. And I'm not missing the chips anymore. So we replaced the, the starchy foods with vegetables. And, um, you know, like not 100% of the time, I'm not saying you can't eat um, some sugar and flour from time to time, but just don't eat it every single day. Let's keep your metabolism up here high again. And so once we get your metabolism high again by stop eating the foods that are spraying miracle Grow on your fat cells, so how do we burn off the fat? And so this is the secret that I have everybody doing. And it's intermittent fasting. So um, some of you caught me on Coffee with Shanda um, a month or so ago. And um, it, it, we, I, I've, I've been popularizing in this community um, with a lot of people getting you on the fasting train. And there's a lot of different ways to do intermittent fasting. And every healthy adult can do intermittent fasting. The number one tip, the one number one takeaway that you can do today, two things, just stop eating the sugar and flour today. You can do that right now and raise up your metabolism. And then to start burning the fat, you can do this right now without really fasting. But this is a kind of a fasting tip. The number one thing that you can do is to stop eating after dinner. Hearts and likes, if that sounds really easy, it really is easy to stop eating after dinner. I love to tell everybody in my community, not even a single blueberry. Don't even have a single blueberry. Try this for a week to stop eating after dinner, and you'll see it's actually really easy. You're bringing mindfulness. You're bringing consciousness to your eating habits, and you're realizing that it's becoming a habit to just start on all of the eating we do after dinner is typically very unconscious eating. I think 30% of the calories that we're getting are all after 6 p.m. in our diet. We don't, we do not need food after 6 p.m. Let me tell you, or after whatever dinner is appropriate for you, we're not needing it. We don't need those calories. In fact, when you stop eating after dinner, you sleep better. Who needs sleep better? Hearts and likes if anybody wants to sleep better. It's not even more sleep. It's the deeper sleep. It's the, like the waking up in the middle of the night. Um, if you wore a sleep monitor, you would not, you, you would be shocked to find out how many times in the middle of the night you're con you're waking up and you're not letting, your body isn't going into these deep sleep cycles where you're resting and repairing your brain. And when you're, when you start to get deep, deep sleep, you're, you are so much more alert. You have so much more brain power to do whatever it is you need to do the next day. So stop eating after dinner and you're going to have major more brain power the next day. You are going to have glowing skin because your body uses the energy of resting and repairing for repairing your gut, for repairing your brain and repairing all of the things that are going to make you look prettier, be healthier, feel better. And this is what we want as female entrepreneurs and um, just beautiful goddesses that, that 
Julie has in her community. I know so many beautiful goddesses that I've met in her community, and I'm so excited to be a part of this. And so extend your period of fasting. Begin with baby steps. Don't. I wouldn't recommend for anybody who's never tried fasting before to just jump straight into fasting. Start here. Give yourself a week where you commit. Make a strong commitment right now. Hearts and legs, if you can make the strong commitment right now to stop eating after dinner. And once you stop eating after dinner, this is gonna be so powerful for you because then you're gonna realize you're sleeping better, you're feeling better, your stomach, you're, it start, it's starting to feel better. You're not you know, like getting so hungry and getting these cravings. And then we can start extending your period of fasting. So X and sexy is extend your period of fasting. And that means we can start doing your, your breakfast a little bit later than you would normally do. And we'll start to work you to eating in an eight hour window. And that is a fast. That means you're sleeping for like eight hours, hopefully. And then eight of the hours that you're awake, you're not eating. And eight of the hours you're awake, you are eating. It's really not that hard. Fasting is creates more energy. It creates more brain power and it creates health and beauty and amazing skin, glowing skin. I love being a 40, almost 43 year old woman and I can still feel really confident about my glowing skin. And I want that for all other women. This is why I'm so passionate about teaching about fasting and eating healthy. And so here's the last tip about getting yourself sexy, the sexy diet, the, my four-part weight loss system. Um, so the Y and sexy stands for yes to healthy fats. And what that means is you're eating healthy fats, monounsaturated fats, such as avocados and macadamia nuts and fats from coconut oil, grass-fed butter as well, which is more of a saturated fat. And um, meats that are organic, grass-fed, wild, pasture-raised, and if you, if in uh, eggs that are pasture-raised, if you eat animal products. Um, I don't do too much dairy, a little bit of um, grass-fed milk, a cheese that comes from grass-fed milk. I don't typically recommend um, yogurt and cottage cheese. A lot of people don't digest those well, and, they, and it causes inflammation, and it's going to be a problem. Um, I don't want to get too into the, the details of um, of, of the of the foods that I prescribe on my diet, but typically no sugar and flour or really dramatically reduce your sugar and flour intake. Continue to eat more vegetables. Extend your period of fasting. Make a solid, powerful commitment today to stop eating after dinner. That's going to change your life regardless of your weight. It's going to powerfully change your life. If you stop eating after dinner, you're going to sleep better you are going to have more mind clarity in the morning, the next, all of the next day, and your skin's gonna look better. We all want more glowing skin. Thanks for being with me, Tammy and Jolyn and Shannon and Leanne and Karen and Steph and Barbara and Behat and uh, Britta. Oh my gosh, Beth, I love all, of, I've seen all of your, your beautiful women on here so let me just finish up with the why and sexy the reason why we say yes to healthy fats yes to healthy fats is because fat makes you full it actually suppresses your hunger hormone so your hunger hormone is this um you know when we eat sugar and flour it actually makes us hungrier and so fat is actually what uh tames down those flames of hunger so it, it helps you extend your period of fasting when you have satiated yourself on healthy fats and it also helps you have more beautiful skin which is what i'm all about that's my jam healthy glowing skin <laughs> thinner waistlines, more brain clarity, and just to have that vibration. Again, bringing it back to Julie Surratt's teaching and what you're probably used to on the Dharma Talk Tuesdays, which is she talks a lot about energy, aligning with energy. Um, so you can have, you know, lift up your vibration and really, again, having getting that vibration from the food that you're eating, even if you're eating French fries, which I don't recommend doing, but just offering it love and letting it nourish your soul. But let's not talk about French fries. Let's talk about the healthier stuff, the, the vegetables and the healthy, the organic foods that you're going to feed yourself and nourish yourself with. 
allow it. To, let's not eat the guilt and the shame with these meals. Let's bring in and eating the gratitude and eating the joy and eating the love and just and pausing and giving yourself uh, breathe slowly with your food. Let it nourish you, body, mind, emotions, and spirit. Love your food. Let your food love you up. And yeah, we, we don't live to eat. We eat to live. And it can be enjoyable. It should be enjoyable. And it should be a beautiful, sensual, gorgeous experience. And, and we don't need to rely on um, beer and soda and milkshakes and cheeseburgers and french fries to fill us up because that's in the end it's going to slow down our metabolism and um cause us not to sleep well so <laughs> so follow the sexy day i'm going to post a link in here in the comments to um um something that i did it's a 45 minute training if anybody's more interested in doing a deeper dive on this i have a 45 minute training on how to lose 10 months this uh, 10 pounds this month how to lose 10 pounds in one month. And I'll, and I'll post a link here in the comments if you're interested and you can go ahead and watch it. It's a total freebie, total free give. And um, it'll go a lot deeper into all of these um, so you can have a deeper dive and learn more about intermittent fasting. It's not just about stop eating after dinner we take or shortening it into an eight hour window. I go a lot deeper into how to, um, how to fast and how I, I fasted to lose weight powerfully and quicker. And I want that for you too, if that's what you're interested in. So thank you all for being here live. This has been such a fun experience. I love being a part of Julie's community. She's an incredible teacher, a wise woman. And um, I'm honored that she allowed me to give her Dharma Talk Tuesday. I hope you all have a phenomenal week. Sending you all love. And I hope to hear from you. Take care. Bye for now.